In this video, I'm going to show how to set up the fabric and sewing for Katano. So the teacher, Brian Whitehead, has provided a piece of kimono cloth, 35 centimeters wide, and he has provided two stitched rows and one extra row. So I'm going to take the paper pattern that was provided and line it up. lining it up with the existing dots. And then using my disappearing ink marker, which was also provided, I'm just gonna make little tick marks. Now, exact precision is not necessary, which is why we're not measuring this out. Um, you could certainly, but the irregularity is something that actually makes the sh sh end results really more interesting and um, natural occurring rather than being so mechanical that everything has to be measured perfectly. So this, we're gonna use these, uh, basically it's just a really long running stitch, super easy to sew and then we're going to pull it really tightly together and then that's gonna create an accordion fold, which is what is characteristic of the katano. <clears throat> Once we get to Japan and we're at the workshop with Brian, we are he's gonna examine this work and make sure that all the stitches are pulling correctly. And then he's gonna show us how to pull this into an accordion configuration. And then we're gonna actually do some additional stitching on top of it that will create different patterns. Let's just slide this down. And it looks like we'll be able to get this in just two shots. And if you're nervous about the alignment, you can always iron your fabric and put a ruler across um, your line if you want to make sure that it's super straight. I'm just going to go with the dots as the teacher provided. Okay, so this is now ready for stitching. I'm going to put my paper pattern away and cover up my marker with the disappearing ink so it doesn't get dried out. And I've already pre-cut some thread that's in the correct length. So we're working with double thread, a few couple inches longer on each side. And then we're going to, following the teacher's example, we're going to start from the back and making sure that your stitches align. We're just gonna do basically a long running stitch. Okay, so I finished putting the running stitch through every row of the dots. And then what I'm going to do is then also pull on my tails to make sure that nothing is caught up. I'm also going to double check my work and make sure that all the stitches are lined up all on the top in the same rows and all at the underneath. So you can see at the on my right hand side, they're, they're on top of the fabric and on my left, underneath the fabric. So I wanna make sure that that's consistent in every column and that every piece can pull freely. And then that's it. When we get to Japan, we're gonna be, um, our teacher, Brian Whitehead, will show us how to pull this into an accordion fold. And then we'll be adding some additional decorative stitches when it's in the accordion fold position that will create the katano style design.